Hi, hi, I'm Ir here from Israel and I have a tip for you. So, you know, sometimes you have those thoughts that are not really pro-survival thoughts. they really about bad things, they really bothers you. Uh, they pull you down. Sometimes when you try to sleep, they come in and you cannot sleep and, and you run away from them. You, you don't want them, so you cannot sleep and you stand up and you walk around and you run away from them. Overall, you run away from them. It can be thoughts or worries or fears and the more you run away from them, the more they come towards you. So what is the handling? The handling is actually quite simple. What you need to do is to take those thoughts and admire them. Find something nice about them. Find some way to make them beautiful. For example, you think, well, you know, I don't have money. I have, I have a problem with money. I have a problem with money. And you can be very worried about it and try to run away from it and don't think about it or anything like that. But what if you look and you say, good, it could be worse. I could have much less money. It could be much worse. I could have no money and I can be very sick. It could be much worse and find all kind of ways that it could be worse. And by that, admire the current position, admire, admire the situation, the current situation. And actually, even the thoughts, you say, wow, that's a beautiful thought. It means if uh, it can be that uh, I don't have money, it means that I can now make money. It means that I cannot go lower, I can increase from here. The thought, by the way, what, how you admire it or what you say about it, it's not really important. It doesn't have to even be logical. You just need to find or put into those thoughts beautiful things. Just put something beautiful into this bad thought. So you look at the thought and you say, whoa, you know, I like the color of that thought. Or I like the fact that I can make those kind of thoughts or I can actually make that thought much bigger. Well, let's, let's look much bigger. Let's, let, let's look that, well, I have a million dollars and I lost a million dollars. That's beautiful. Like, play with that, play with that. I know it sounds a bit, what? But this is uh, one of those things that you need to try and you will see, it will change your life. Because the reason uh, those thoughts are running after you is because you run away from them. Like anything in life, if you run away from something, it will run after you. So the only way to get something to stop running after you is to change your direction, run after it. Or in other words, you can either make things happen or have things happen to you. If you allow things to happen to you, then you will be an effect. It will be painful, it will not be nice. But if you make things happen, it will be beautiful, it will be nice. If you don't cause things, you bring on yourself those things that you don't want. It's really fascinating. So you have a problem? Admire the problem. You have a bad thought? Admire the bad thought. See how it can, how it can be worse and then realize, hmm, it's actually good. And you, last thing, last thing, last thing. If I'll give you a cent for every moment that you have, you worried and nothing happened, I'm sure you'll be minimum a billionaire. And nothing happened. You've been worried and worried and worried and worried and nothing happened. So what you need to know is that at the end, everything somehow comes right. Most of the things that you worry about will never happen. And those things that did happen, happen because you worried about them. Because if you wouldn't worry about them, they wouldn't happen. They wouldn't happen. And they wouldn't have bad effect on you. That's my advice to you today. Try it. Meir Ezra.